Hey everybody, from Next Isle here, and welcome to a new video. I also want to cover the Holy Trinity of uh, being about as immortal as you can get in the game, as long as you're using a life-based build. If you CI, this doesn't work because you're recovering life. You can't recover energy shield doing this because it's specifically recovering life. Uh, so the first thing you have is the immutable force. You have to get over 961%. That's the goal. Anything over that doesn't really uh, make a difference. Uh, under that, you will notice a difference. You will get stun locked. Uh, all this does is it increases the amount of uh, how quick you recover from being stunned. The Blood Notch works with this to where when you get stunned, 55%, uh, up to 60%, but I have a 55% roll, uh, damage taken from stunning hits is recovered as life. So over half of the damage you take, you actually get back in life. And then you add the Defiance of Destiny, where 42% uh, at max roll at the very bottom there, it's 35%, and then you use Fertile Catalyst to get it up to 42%. Uh, of missing unreserved life before being hit by an enemy. So you gain 42% of your unreserved life. The game calculates that. You get it back before you're hit. So when you're getting hit a bunch of times, you're always gaining 42% of your missing unreserved life. In order for these two jewels to work, you do need the Valeria Moonstone Ring so that your stun threshold is based on energy shield instead of life. So it, as, as I said in the last video in the build guide for this uh, Fulcrum build, it does suck having to lose uh, a ring slot, but the benefit you get from it is just almost unmatched, right? To add to that, to make it even better, you add petrified, petrified blood. Uh, so what this does is when you take damage from hits, 40% of life loss, life loss below half-life is prevented, so you just don't take 40% of life or of damage. And then 76% of that 60% is lost over four seconds so your regen can kick in and you'll basically feel like you're never getting hit to go one step further you have the progenesis and then 25 percent of life lost is occur uh, taken over four seconds as well so progenesis is obviously it's expensive right it's like 50 divines but if you want to be super tanky there's really no better way to do it honestly um you know throw on petrified blood to get yourself uh to Low life, you can reserve a little bit of life. I'm reserving uh, vitality, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm reserving vitality with life, but I'm 490 life reserved. You have these basically six things on your build, and it's it's real hard to die as long as you're res capped and you know you have chaos, 75% chaos res, because uh, chaos poisons and stuff can always kill you. Yeah, uh, it's pretty simple. It's very straightforward way to increase your defenses without using any auras. I have no defensive auras on this build whatsoever. It's literally just these six things that keep me alive. I can stand in huge monster packs and not die. And I have a quartz last so I can just walk through stuff and it hits me and it just heals me as it hits me. Oh, well, that was it. I hope that helped somebody out there. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to give me uh, drop a comment down below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. And if you are enjoying the videos, please give it a like. And if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing.